Hello guys and welcome to the first tutorial about Windows Phone 7 development. So what we're going to do today is we're going to use lists and bindings and a little bit of XAML. So basically what we've got here is we've got an application which loads data which we fed through a CS file and it, it sets a layout for the data that we gave it and it presents it in a nice, nice and neat manner. And we got another page here, which is places, and we're using the same technique. We're using XAML, pronounced XAML, to lay out the pictures. This time we've got pictures here, and it's going to lay out some text and a description of the place. So here we go. It's going to do quite nice and I'm going to teach you a few features while I'm at it. So um, basically, First off, I'm going to show you where my images are. Uh, before I set this up, I collected five images from the internet. And they're in my pictures folder. Then there's a folder inside my pictures folder called tutorial images. And inside that one, I've got another folder called using lists and bindings. Um, to get those images, I simply went to Google. I typed in a different location. And on the left hand side, you'll see here that you can choose any size. I went to exactly, I chose 100 by 100, and at least one of these would look good enough for locations, such as that one there. So that's how I got my locations. So I'm going to minimize that for now. And there's my pictures there. I named my pictures image 1, image 2, image 3, image 4, and image 5 for simplicity and it will be a lot easier to load the method I'm going to use. So I'm going to minimize that. Um, there's my images there, I've got all 5, they're all 100 by 100. Let's close that. So, hello guys, um, I'm back. So, I'm going to start my Visual Studio 2010 for Windows Phone. And as soon as it comes up, I'm going to click New Project. This will bring up a new dialog, which will let me choose which type of project I want. So, I'm going to choose Silverlight, and you can have different types of applications here, you got a pivot, a panorama, data about it, basic. Where are you going to choose panorama? Because personally I think it looks really nice. And we're going to name it, well I'm going to use it called, I'm going to name it using lists. That's what I'm going to call it. So it's going to create the project, which should take several seconds for some use. Okay, so there it is. See it. But as you see, down the right hand side here, it's made me a solution project. And inside that project, I've got many different things. I've got properties, references, sample data, a few models. I've got app.xml, I've got the images I'm going to use, and the main page. The one that will load by default is. Uh, main page dot AXML, which is this page here. App dot AXML is the file which has all the data for how it should be run. Um, you got application icon and background, uh, panorama background and splash screen image. These are all the images that will be used for your home screen, your quick launch, your loading screen and at the background you can see it's designed here. So this here is your interface. You got this if you want to control it, make it smaller, you can simply use this little bar here and you can do that. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. So I can see enough of it, I can see it all if I wanted to. Okay, and you'll see here that we've got all this scary code here. 
Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to ignore this code, and I might explain it a bit further in next tutorials of women's tutorials. So, um, yeah, the thing we want to control is these two down here. We've got first item, and we've got second item. But this text here at the top, we're going to change this to using lists. Sorry about that. Um, using lists. One second. Sorry, my microphone was pointing up. Sorry about that. My microphone was pointing up. So, um, basically, we set the title up here. And this here, this is all one big grid where we're going to put all our data. And that grid is called the layout route, and that's where everything is placed. Um, we have our panorama control, which is this bit here, which enables it to slide. Uh, here comes our first item. You can see here that that's called first item, and we can change it here. That's the header for the first page. I'm going to call this people. Okay, so you'll see here that it says margin, and margin is where you place your items. So we've got margin here. So if I was to change this to, let's say, 20, you'll see that the grid drops. That's a list box. So uh, if I change that to 50, it'll drop even further, that list box there. So I'm going to keep it at zero where it should be. And if I wanted to change where this header people would be, I believe I would just change the margin. Uh, zero, twenty, zero, zero. But you see there, the, that, that went down a little bit. But I'm going to leave the thing as it should be, so you don't need to do that if you do it, actually. So, sorry about this. Um, so basically, you'll see this where it says binding items. This is the part we're going to concentrate on. This is how we're going to feed the text into the XML. So, what we're going to do is we'll see this people here. We're going to change binding, this little text box here, to we're going to place it and it's going to be called, uh, we want the person's name, so it's going to be called name. And we're going to use the second binding as. Let's make a change. Let's call it contact number. There we go. So uh, here, we've got quite a bit actually. Uh, text wrapping wrap means that if the text goes all the way across here, uh, it will still go down. Instead of going all the way across, all the way across there. It'll go down, down, down. Um, I think we have a few one there. Okay. Basically, what we're going to do now is don't don't be scared by this because at the end of the day, it's not it's not very scary. We're going to give the list box a name. We're going to call this the people list. Okay. So we're going to save there. Right click on project, which is this using lists. Add a name for their ideal right. What we're going to add is a plus. Call that plus people. Okay. So you'll see this and then it up. So I don't have to explain much right now, but all I'm doing here is in the same properties. So I'm going to make public shrink, which is a uh, Set of characters, and it's going to be called name. And then you see, we set we set the text box text to binding name. So whatever te whatever text is set to name of this will be set to name of the page. For example, 
So 